Okay, I'm going to do an experiment with uh, this radiant charging circuit to make hydrogen using just pure static electricity as per uh, Stanley Meyer's recommendation. We're also going to match the frequency because this circuit automatically tunes the charging coil to the water medium. And we're going to use 52.5 volts input, which is a lot, and this transistor can handle it. It's just one coil, one circuit, one transistor. So this could be scaled up tremendously. And this is just filtered tap water with no electrolyte. So I'm going to hook it up right now. We get a nice radiant spark here. It's drawing 300 milliamps, 52.5 volts input. Filtered tap water, no electrolyte. And these plates are not special. These are just regular 316 stainless plates. They've not been conditioned in any sort of way. Here's our voltage. 65 volts at peak, 850 hertz is the resonant frequency of that coil and water combination. The water has a certain capacitance which is dependent on the plate size and the impedance of the water, the type of plates you use, the shape, all of those things matter and this circuit just automatically adjusts. It doesn't care if you change something it will just automatically adjust the frequency to suit it best. So same with that coil. If you change that coil at all this circuit just automatically changes and you find the perfect resonant frequency. So you imagine if you can scale this up by, you know, 10 times and have 10 coils, you could just imagine what you could do with just tap water. Just filtered tap water. No electrolyte. This works the same with regular tap water. <clears throat> it doesn't have to be filtered or distilled. The plates don't have to be conditioned. It's really just all about high, high voltage and, uh, getting the right frequency and the reason you need the right frequency isn't because it you know it performs magic it may perform magic if you're using sound or vibration but the frequency really it just cuts your power draw down because that coil is tuned to this water you're not wasting any power in excessive dwell by overcharging the coil the coil doesn't even get warm so it's just like an automotive ignition the coil should not get warm if you have the proper dwell so Dwell means charging time. You don't want to overcharge the coil in between pulses. The circuit has a perfect dwell where the, the charging time is just absolutely perfect. We're not wasting any power and yet, look at this, we're getting hydrogen. I want to show you that uh, this circuit does adjust to the water. And here's an example. We were at about 850 hertz before something like that with filtered tap water and this is unfiltered tap water so all I did is use the wa same water faucet I just didn't run it through a water filter that's attached to the faucet I just used straight tap water and our frequency dropped by about 100 hertz our voltage our peak voltage from peak to peak also went down it was 65 volts peak to peak and now we're not even 50, we're at 45 volts peak to peak. So it went down by 20 volts and the frequency went down by 100 hertz. Same amount of hydrogen production, same thing happening here. Just regular tap water with no electrolyte. 52 volts input and 300 milliamps is the draw.